Good afternoon, everybody. So today we're going to paint the pink flamingo. And uh, like we've been learning, you know, we paint um, hoping for shape, color, and texture, right? So the shape is already drawn on there, eh, right? But we get to draw the the um, palm trees, which is awesome. And then the color, we're always trying to make 3D, dark, medium, light, and we're rooting for that. So if we t mix too much our paint, it all just becomes one color, okay? So what we're interested in is if we use three colors, and in this case for the sky, look at our colors. I know, boop, 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 right? Oops, dropped him. So it's this pretty blue, and look at what color she is mixed with white. She's way up here, right? And then here is that dark, it's purpley blue, and she dark dries this purple color, right? And then of course white clouds, right? And I paint diagonally, if you like that, right? But I also paint, and then there's a scribble texture, right? But I have painted straight before, so whatever texture you do on this side, right? I'm going to go straight. Well, then you better go straight on that side because it's the same sky. Or if you're tilted over here and you like a diagonal, it just depends. Diagonal. Well, then you better be diagonal over here, right? And then water, because it's water, has to be perfectly flat and straight, right? Because it's calm. The water is so calm that it's reflecting the sky and this little pink pieces are reflecting our flamingo, but it's all getting distorted because of the water. But look at, there's dark, medium, light, and little pieces of green and stuff. This one, where is it? This one had more green. I don't know, it's how it turned out. I don't know, which one do we like better? Every time I do it, it comes out different. But then I look at this one, and I'm like, those, those pinks don't even show up very good. I don't know. Okay, so each time it's a little different experience. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna um, paint the sky first. So we're gonna we're gonna have to protect. We're gonna do half of it, right? So we're, let's go. Um, let's pretend like a, a, little, a little S river. Her neck right here, and out the top of her head. This whole half we decorate, and then we'll do this half. It's because our paint dries so fast. Right? So we'll outline that right there or the bird on this half, right? And then decorate it. And then, and of course we'll sit, we'll go across that halfway line, right? And then outline, oh, under the beak is very hard for me. And then under her tummy, and then we'll paint this side, okay? Because of how fast it dries. So we're ready? So we have three paint brushes. Big is for sky and water, right? And then the itty bitty baby one makes excellent teeny tiny feathers. And our feathers go dash, 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 dash. Look good, right? That's nice. And then of course the teeny tiny beak. And then this square one, she makes the um, uh, palm trees. And the palm trees are uh, like, I hold my paintbrush the skinny flat way like this. Right? And then I go, and then I make little sharp ones. One, 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 one. It's super easy. But look, there's dark green and light green. And if they mix, it's medium. So I put the dark green first, like a shadow. And that's her. And she dries almost black, right? Really good green. And then we put a brighter green on it. And we're going to add white to it to make it even brighter. Okay? Here comes more people. So we're gonna we're gonna paint the background first. I just wanted to show you all our paintbrushes. So big paintbrush, and then pull on it a little bit because I'm always getting loose hairs lately that makes me mad. So pull on it a little bit, and make sure there's no. Okay, I don't like them loose hairs. Okay, now we're gonna um, get white and we paint the whole side. We outline our flamingo, and we paint the whole half. A white and then we decorate it right and then how much color we put and how much and how what the what the texture is is all up to you right you're like whoa I'm too much too little it always comes out good you saw the white one and you saw the blue one both are good so I'm how do we outline it we're gonna use our white paint how do we outline and paint again oh yeah poke just 
dab our paint and then we're gonna smash our paintbrush above her head and we go and our paintbrush goes boop, and it opens and then one hair touches the uh, the pencil and then I push and I don't scribble I let one hair squeeze out a bead of paint like that and I'll make a nice smooth edge so I go like this and I go oh yeah let's do this let's let's go from the top of her head and tell ourselves where halfway is I don't want to forget because because it will dry our paint will dry right so now I can get another poke that was just a reminder to like and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna smash my paintbrush but go above Flamingo's head, smash. Okay, oh, look, I landed perfectly. That one hair is touching pencil. And push, oh, that did not last but one second. I need more paint. Step. And then, uh-oh, I have to get in this little hole right here. It'll do it, I just won't push as hard. Turn the corner, okay. <laughs> and then more paint, step glob a paint don't care now i'm going to touch the top back smash and i let one hair push my paint no wigglies no scribblies push okay perfect okay what about her leg i got i'm gonna go under her leg and paint over it like i don't care like that because look this is just a diagonal line okay don't worry about it okay now they outline my flamingo who knows what happens? I know you know, because we've totally done this together before. And if you get some of the white paint on the pencil, you can just wipe it off. Look, I got it on her neck and I can't see the line. We'll just get it off. Hey, the line came off. Or the, the paint came off and now I can see the line. Pshaw. Okay, now we can stab our white paint. Not the whole way around, remember? Just half. So from the top of her head and this the back half of the sky, right? Because our paint will dry too fast. Because it's hot. I'm going to get hotter. Now I'm going to get a scoop of white paint. Scoop to do. And I don't go below this line. This is going to be water. So I just go under her belly. Right there. Water line. And now I'm going to get a big scoop of white paint. And should I go diagonal or straight? What do you feel like? Hmm. And I'm just going to get this whole thing wet with white. And the only way I could tell if I got it wet with white is if it's shiny. Because it's white on white. So I'm just going to get it all shiny. And I just stab my white. Scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. Looking. No, I got dry spots. Let me get them. More paint. shove it around and I th I have a, a a tilt to mine but it's very it's almost flat but I have to remember whatever tilt or whatever scribble texture I choose on this side has to match the other side because it's the same sky right so mm. so I'm looking at mine look at Kenny I don't know if you can see it but I totally I keep having dry spots there I know why, because I put the paint on so thin that the air is stealing my water out of my paint that fast. We better hurry up. Okay, so who's ready to decorate? Not yet? Daisy, I can't see your painting because you have a filter on and the filter thinks the painting is a nothing. You know what I mean? Okay, now I'm going to get some color. And I'm going to get, I have my two blues. Dark blue, light blue. Who thinks I'm going too fast? Okay, I'll slow down. Get more paint and shove. Does the texture really matter? No, we kind of ruin it when we go and we put this blue, other blue colors on it, right? But let's start with light blue instead. We'll call her medium, right? So there's dark blue, light blue, and then white. Dark, medium, light. But they're all going to mix with white. Yeah. So we'll start with our medium color, the baby blue one. And we're going to drop it off and we're going to stab our blue paint. And then we put it in blobs. But then we decorate with it. So do you guys remember how to 
blend, right? So at first it's gonna be really dark, right? And then I kind of scratch at the sides of it and give it permission to run out of paint. Then it becomes lighter. So I'm gonna stab my blue paint, stab. Ooh! And I'm gonna drop it off in a few random places, maybe the corner near her head, in the middle, and then, okay, I still got more paint, so I'll just keep going until I run out of paint. Okay, now it's invisible, all right. And then, where should it be darker? I don't know, dark blue paint, get the dark blue paint. Maybe the shadow is close to the bottom here, and maybe close to the tip top corner, and then whatever's left on my paintbrush, right? I could just go, I don't know, here and here and here. So, this and this, uh-huh, question? Does this start at four? Um, they made a mistake and it starts at three, but I would just wait and let me upload the video and you guys can paint it tomorrow. Okay, that's They fine. made a mistake, but everything, you'll have the kit and my video tomorrow. Okay, now I'm going to start scribbling and I just go, everybody pause and look up, right? I do not want these to make one color. So I'm going to travel and I might hit a color and I might not. I don't care. And if it acts dry, I don't care about that either because I'm going to add some more white. But I'm going to go, okay, using the side of my paintbrush, I start in the corner and I'm like, oh, and then, ooh, ooh, should I touch the same place twice? No, I'm just traveling, I'm running, I'm going, I'm not stopping, I don't go back and visit anything. Like that. But look, as long as I don't go back, if you go back and touch another place, it just becomes one color. Give it permission to have dark pieces, light pieces, medium pieces, don't care pieces. And then another row. Oh, but look at the perfect edge I put. That's going to show. So how about when I sew them together, I'm more wild, like big, little, small, little, big, little, big, little, small, so it doesn't make that hard, perfect edge. So I'm going to go, blah, 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 blah. I'm still traveling. I'm still doing that same thing, but I would like it to be more interesting than perfectly straight and flat. And then you probably found your style. Who has a direction and their paintbrush goes automatically? I uh, know, right? Why? I don't know. But whatever you chose, whatever your brain chose, copy that when we do the other side. Look at, I have a little bit of paint on my paintbrush, and now I'm going to go near my, my um, flamingo with this whatever's left in my paintbrush, and now I can go shove it in. The, sorry? What blues are we using? Oh, the two blues. Uh, not the turquoise, but baby blue. And, um, but we painted it white first and got it slippery. Then we added our two colors. Okay. Now, and then I go, and I use the, just kind of whatever's left on my paintbrush to make sure I'm getting near my flamingo. Okay. Well, that is highly boring. Does that have any pretty white clouds in it? Hey, Daisy, you got to get close to your... But keep going, keep going. The sky is behind your flamingo. So this blue has to go all the way up and touch flamingo's body. And then we'll, like we're hiding sky behind her. Yeah, there you go. And just, just we'll add white. If it comes out too dark, we'll add white. Okay, now, I'm, oh, what about under her, under her tail? Oh, I almost forgot about that. Okay, now how about some white for some clouds? So I stab my white. You want to see me do it? But what happens if I touch white too much? Won't she just become blue? So I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to put like a piece here and a piece here. Okay, whatever. Okay, everybody pause and look up. Watch this. So I'm going to scribble it into some weird cloud thing. But then I'm going to make, I'm, I'm going to scribble it, you know, blah, 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 blah. then I go and visit just her edges and try to make dry, fuzzy edges, right? So watch me, I go, I don't have to touch it very much because I would like, so everybody pause what you're doing and watch what I'm doing. So I'm going to go, okay, because that's the wrong texture. Let me texturize it, la, 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 okay, that's white, okay, and it's matching texture. But I'm not going to touch the center of it anymore. I like it that white. But what if I go with what's left in my paintbrush and just 
go dash, dash, dash around, around, around it and drop off what uh, white I have. Oh, now I can visit this one. Make a scribbly and then go walking around and pick it up and drop it off and pick it off. Oh, it changes the texture of all the paint. Nice. By giving white a chance to visit and make little lighter. And, but look at, I left my corner really dark. I didn't put any white. Why? Because I'm rooting for dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces. And, and then when you think you got your white and you go, oh no, it turned too white. Just wait till it dries. The white calms way down. She's mostly gel. But make sure you're going, everybody watch. Daisy, look, everything has to go in the same direction. If you choose straight, you have to be straight. If you're slightly slanted, you have to be slanted even when you go behind her neck. It all has to be going the same direction. You can't go up and down and side to side. That's not the texture of Sky, right? So who likes theirs? Do you have dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces? All righty, all right. Because what's gonna go on top of our Sky? We cover it up with a palm tree. So we're like, oh no, my aunt, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, now dirty paintbrush and all. I don't care, who's decorating still? You're just going for more texture, right? Okay, now I'm gonna do the, and we don't have to fix any, if you get paint on your on your um, flamingo like this, don't we end up putting a uh, pink on top of it? As long as you don't lose her shape, we're just going to paint over it so we don't need to worry about any oopsies on our flamingo. But we don't want to lose the shape of it. So if I can't see her pencil, I try to like wipe it off. It's like, oh, I still see it. Okay. Okay, now let's outline it. And I still have a dirty paintbrush. But you know what's good about that? I'll be able to see my outline now when I go to get white paint. Where before it was pure white because my paintbrush was clean. So I'm going to stand stab the white white and go, all righty. And I go, okay, so I gotta go above her head. Shmush, okay. Cause I want my, my, my beak to live. So I'm just gonna go slow and let one hair. Look at it, it's a little bit blue. Can you see it just a little bit better? A little bit? Yeah. And then, oh, this is the hard part. I don't wanna lose the shape of the beak, but I have to go under her chin. I'm gonna go slow. Okay, so I get it and I'm like, I'm gonna do it really soft, so it's just the corner of the paintbrush. Oh my God, this is hard. <laughs> I did it. That was the ickiest part. Okay, now that I did under her chin, now I can get white and go along her tummy. Wee! Or her chest, I guess. Wait, that's not enough paint. It didn't feel very slippery. I'm being too, too delicate. Okay. Now I can get it all wet with white. Who thinks this is gonna be faster now? Cause we get it wet with white and then we decorate, right? So now I'm gonna get more white. Whoo, should get a scoop of it? Like a scoop of ice cream and just, but I'm gonna travel with it and push it around and try to get the whole, oh look, it's a little bit baby blue because there was blue in my paintbrush. So how about this line right here? Everybody pause and look. Oh, oh, that looks ridiculous right there. Well, how about if we just give it permission to visit both worlds? It doesn't hurt nothing. Okay, now I'm gonna go, more paint! Shove it around, shove, shove, shove. Oops, got it on her tummy. Use my finger. Okay. Get close. I slow down when I'm near Flamingo. Okay. Fun. Who is way more uh, faster and less carry? Second time. I know. Because all the decorating and cuteness happens with the blue paint. I just want to be safe with my Flamingo. Okay. So what, do we, what two colors do we need? We need blue, baby blue. Right? And we just drop it off random. I stab my blue and just go, uh, maybe here, 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 and here, and here. And then there's still some blue left on my paintbrush, so I'll just wipe off what's left. Okay, there. And 
And then don't forget, you have to tuck. We're going to, everybody pause and look. Look, Daisy. The color is going to tuck underneath her tummy too, all the way to the pencil line. Okay. So now I'm going to go, oh, I need my dark blue. Where's my purpley blue? Deep purpley blue. Okay. Maybe right there and up higher. Okay, there. I don't know. Two spots. Just so it looks different. Okay, now I do the scribbly, but look at my, mine is tilted this way. So I have to tilt the same way over here. Matchy, matchy, scribbly, scribbly. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me just do a row and fall down and see what I hit. Maybe I hit paint. Maybe I don't. Oh, and then I hit nothing. Then I hit paint. And then I hit nothing. Oh, it's going to be very dark at the bottom. Shadow. Look how it's thick with paint, not thick with paint. Both are perfect. 3D, right? Okay, now I'm going to do it. Oh, but now I have to get close to my flamingo. So I'm just slower and more careful. Okay, now the next, uh, I have just a little bit of color on my paintbrush. And now I'm going to sneak up and go near the flamingo a little bit you know little little real close to her face see watch watch me everybody pause and look up oh i got on her head okay there because she has a round head there and i'm gonna sneak up and go and then put some oh under her chin hey i'm go oh this is wrong look what i'm doing i'm going up and down no, the sky was side to side. I'm ru I'm ruining the texture. Let me go side to side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, now the texture matches. Oh, I got some on my flamingo. Oh, oh well. Wait, as long as I can still see it a little bit. All right. Oh, the top of her head. Let me get that. Okay. Now I get to put clouds. Remember how it looks all dry and funky and we're not loving it? When we put the clouds. And look, I right here over her head. Don't I have to cross over into the other world to make sure that line disappears? I don't want to see that line on top of her head. So go visiting over here a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to get my, my white paint and I just go scoop. And I just go, all right. So maybe one right here. I don't know. And maybe one right here. Okay. Two. And then that looks ridiculous. It looks like a blob. I mean, a levy. So let me change your texture like three little swipies and change your texture. Real careful. Oh, look it. And that's going down. I have to change it to my angle that I came up with was kind of, you know, zicky zacky. So, boop, 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 boop. Okay. There, there. Okay. Okay. And then pew, 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 there. Okay, now she's cloud. But what's on my paintbrush? A little bit of white. Let's go and gently touch the outside of it and make misty cloud. Just with this dry little white paint. Oh, 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 let me just scratch at the edges. Look at, oh, oh, look, I'm, I'm just ruining the sides, never the inside of the cloud, just the sides. And then there's still some white left in my paintbrush. Let me go visiting other places. I think here I would like some, and here until all the white doesn't move anymore. There, I guess that's it. It's nothing's happening anymore. It's all dry. This came out more blue for me this time. How about you? Yeah? So look at the color wheel. We're gonna make a pink flamingo on a blue sky. Here's my pink, oh, question? Will you re-say what we did with the white? Oh, uh-huh. So I put blobs of white, a blobule, then a blobule, right? But it's just like a blob. So I go and scribble it, dash, 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 dash. Just change her texture. And then dash, 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 dash which just leaves a little bit of white on my paintbrush left. So then I go touching around her, like I, here it is, and I just like touch her edges, like this a little tat, 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 and see if I can't get the edges to look more blurry. There. 
So otherwise it looks like a blub. It's a white blub. Like no, it has fuzzy edges. It's a misty cloud. Lots of clouds near the oceans where these guys live, huh? Because the water of the ocean makes all the weather. Okay. You feel good about that? Who's got a neat texture? Right? Look at my two textures, right? This is both me. Look how I did them totally different. This one is smooth. I think I did this again. Did I? No, I'm different again. Look, I did it. This one had more white and it was more blumpy, lumpy. I don't, and then this one was smoother. I don't know how I did it. Every time I do it, it comes out a little different. I like it. Okay, now we get to make water. Oh, but we have to practice something. So everybody find your teeny tiny itty bitty baby paintbrush. Because we're going to practice drawing this uh, leg. Okay, this is just for our brain. But you see this angle? I'm just gonna do it like 10 times. You know when you trace your letters when you were a baby and it helped you remember? So I'm just gonna go wee, whoop, wee, whoop, wee, whoop. Because I have to do this because I'm gonna paint over these legs with watercolor, right? With the colors of water, I mean. So the straight leg is obvious. Hello, it's straight. <laughs> but this one, she makes like a number four, straight, kind of, oh, kind of, hmm, okay. And I'm just doing this for my brain, like, oh yeah, letter E, letter E. Remember how many times you had to get that letter E? So I'm just doing it for fakes, for not reals. And I go, okay, so like I got it. And if it was covered up, could I still do it? Right? Okay. And I'm just thinking, I'm, just, I don't, I'm gonna paint over it because what is the direction of the water have to be? Can I follow the, can I trace it down like this? No. Water has to be completely straight and flat or it doesn't look like calm water. So we're going to paint. And so we have to draw the straight leg. That's obvious. Straight. But then this one I go and look at how lumpy mine came and bad it came out. But you didn't notice and you didn't care. Right? But I just go, wee, fall down. Wee, fall down. Wee. Okay. Ready? Now I can put a little paintbrush down. Thank you, paintbrush. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, now I can go back to big paintbrush. And what is the main color of our of our water? Turquoise, right? Turquoise with decorations, right? So we're gonna paint the whole water turquoise, but we have to do it fast. What happened to our, our sky really fast? It started to dry really fast. And then it got a weird texture. So just paint this all turquoise as fast as you can, right? And then we can decorate it with more colors, okay? So the most important is a nice flat top. Oh, no, we have to mix our paint. Do you guys have this? It's this green paint. What do you have? Show me what you have. Do you have, do you have turquoise? Oh, is it turquoise different than the blue? I have. You have that one. You have that? Does anyone else have this? I don't have a big tub. You don't have a big tub? No. But you have turquoise? I have this. And that's the greenish blue? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I we have to make our turquoise. Yours came with turquoise. That's what happened. Okay, so I we, we if you have the tub, you have to mix it, okay? Because look at how it's way darker than hers. She Hers is already pretty. So we have to stir this with our big paintbrush. And it's all going to try to fall out of the tub, okay? Because that's what paint does. So I'm going to go stir a small circle in the middle. Try to get it going. Because where's the white paint? At the bottom. And then I can scrape the sides. Oh, this is when it tries to fall out. Look, I scrape the sides and then stir again. Ah, she keeps trying to jump out. 
I have to get the white paint that's at the, whoa, I told you it would fall out. Get back in there, paint. <gasps> okay, scratch the sides where the white paint is and then stir. And then, oh, look at the pretty side. That's neat. And then stir. See, now do I have the same color as you, Alexis? Look. See, same. Right, yours is prettier. Yours is actual turquoise from the paint company. We had to make ours. Mm -hmm. Just depends on what stage I was at when I had to make paint. Okay, who's ready? I got my turquoise. But the most important thing is trying to, and we have to paint over the legs, right? So whatever turquoise you have is the turquoise you use, which is the greeny blue. And I just need to make a straight line. And oh my gosh, it's so hard as a human being because your hand is going to go like this because you're made out of blood and goo and stuff. So you would, if you want a perfectly straight line, you use a ruler, but we're not. So, but I, and I would like to cover up this red. Look at this edge. It's ugly. So I'm going to put a little bit of paint on it. So I'm going to go smash. But what is the one hair that makes the line actually? Up. Oh, now I push as straight as I can and I'm overlapping the pencil. I'm gonna cut off a leg, I'm kinda scared. There, and then I ran out of paint. Hmm. But it's pretty straight and all I did was push, but it's straight-ish. It's not perfectly straight, it's human-ish, human straight. No printer made this, right? Now I can stab my color so it's nice and thick and try to keep going. But then I have to stand back and look for my error because up close, it looks like I do a good job. So I stand back and I'm like, um, no, I dipped down a little bit. Okay, let me try one more time. But now that it's wet, it's so much smoother. Watch this. Watch, watch, oh, Daisy. I'm actually pushing my paintbrush and pushing it. And then I'm staring at that top hair. The top hair of the paintbrush, like this, is actually making the straight line. The top hair. And I'm so, oh, okay. It was way smoother second time because it was already wet. Okay. All right for you. Okay, now I'm going to paint it really, really fast and paint it all the way to the bottom. So I just stab my paint, whatever, and go la 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 la, stab my paint. La 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 la, stab my paint. As soon as it gets dry, watch how fast it gets dry. I start at the top. Oh, that's, just, that's it. It went from here to here, like one little box. So what? Just get more paint. Don't push hard and try to push the paint really hard. Just get more paint. Stab. Now I'll go, all right. Oh, look at all these dry pieces. Let me get, oh, get out. Oh, go, go. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, and this thing, look at. Okay. But I am trying to be straight. Right? Like this. So stab your paint. A little bit of paint is good or a lot of paint is good? A lot of paint. Juliet, are you joining us? Did you think it started at four? Um, no. Okay. I tell my sister I, I really going at different. Oh, okay. Because you could watch the video and paint this tomorrow. Because there was some mix up. I don't know what happened. Life happens is what happens. That's what happens. It's crazy how busy it's been and... You think you're saying the right thing, and it's not the right thing. Look, at I have 3D without even trying. Look, you guys. It's a little bit darker right there than right there. And without even trying, I have a little bit of 3D. What? Daisy, you paint the entire thing turquoise all the way to the bottom as fast as you can. Hurry, hurry. Stab paint. Look, Daisy. No, not up and down. This is water. Daisy, that's grass. Watch. This is nice flat water texture. Now you do it. Yes, yes, and then get more paint. It's acting dry, get more paint. And then get more paint, because it only lasts about that far. And then you get more paint, there you go. Uh -huh. 
Okay, now we gotta decorate it. So we're gonna find our little square paintbrush and we're gonna put blobs of color. But hey, isn't this just like the sky except for straight and flat? So we're gonna put some green pieces, some purple pieces and some white pieces in our turquoise. And then really soft, go side to side, side to side, trying to make them into long skinny strings like that. But first we gotta put our blobs. Okay. So let's get some, let's get some um, dark purpley color. And I'm just, and I'm using the square one. Why? Cause she's, we're gonna just use her as a scoop. A scoop, right? So I get some blue and scoop. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put it in pieces, make it nice and straight and flat because it's water. And I just go, and there. Mm -hmm. And then I get another scoop and maybe a uh, there. And then I get another scoop and maybe a little lower. And then I get another scoop and maybe in the corner. And then she's jealous way up here. Okay, there. Maybe more. Scoop. I'll put it thicker. I don't know what's going to happen. Wait! That looks like a straight line. Oh, I didn't want it to do that. I wanted them to be like in little hops. Mm. Oh, well. Okay. So now I clean my paintbrush a little paper. No, I don't have to clean my paintbrush. Yes, I do. Clean my paintbrush. Now I'm going to get some of the lighter green. This light green right here. Do you see her? She's not the super dark one. And then I'm going to clean my paintbrush. Pinch. So I can get some green and get a scoop of it. And just, just a little bit and go, you can have some and you can have some. Just a, little, a lot less than the blue. Patoo, patoo. And now white. A scoop of white. Right? And maybe you get some and you get some and pleh. And then pleh, pleh, pleh. But I got to save some white for my flamingo. Don't use it all up. Wait, who's got any turquoise left? What if we put everywhere that isn't blue, green, or white, we put pieces of turquoise? So I'm gonna go back to my big giant paintbrush and scoop it and go, all right, kaboom, kaboom, kablob, kablob, ew! That's disgusting. Let me smash that down. Pa plob, pa plob. Maybe a pie. I didn't get any a pie. Pa plob, plob. Okay, plob. All right. Because now we're gonna turn these ugly plobs into long, skinny strings. But that means we have to push both directions. I have to do it. But watch. Don't paint yet. Watch me. I go softly that way and off the page. Pixie? Question? Yeah. Um, what colors are we using in the water? The water is we painted it turquoise. Then we put purpley blue, green, and white. Which green? The lightest green. Not dark green. She's super dark. Not the darkest. The medium, medium green like this. Hello. I can't see it. Oh, oh, got a little higher. Yeah. Okay, everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy. Okay, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna push and pull in little rows like this. Push and pull, then a little lower. Push and pull, then a little lower. Push and pull, then a little lower. You wanna see? Watch me. Okay, here I go. You ready? Everybody pause and look up. I start at the very top and I push, and I fall off the page. And then I go the other way, and I may or may not hit a color. Patoom! And I'm trying to be a perfectly straight. And I pick up color and I drag it somewhere else. And I pick up another color and I drag it somewhere else. And I pick up another color and then I drag it somewhere else. I don't know. I sound like a machine. It feels like I'm a machine. But do I scribble them together? No. I'm just turning them into long skinny streaks.
Don't scrub them together. That'll just turn turquoise. So how did I do it? Push, pull, and once you have a streak, you are done. Next row, push, pull. Next row, push, pull. Next row. I don't want to squish them in, right? I'm whoosh, whoosh. They're floating on top of my turquoise. Excellent water. Yes, I see it. And and Juliet, your filter on your on your um, classroom is I can't it look a little fuzzy, and I can't see your painting because it doesn't know that your painting um, is it a person. It's a background. Yeah, I know, but it's it, I can't see your painting because it thinks the painting is background, so it erases it. Yeah, there you go. Now and then point your camera so I can watch. Okay, now what what does my painting have that yours doesn't have? What are these? Pew, 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 pew. Little reflections of the flamingo in the water in hot pink. But I, I'm just going to put a few of them. So, but I'm going to put them on with my teeny tiny baby paintbrush. Okay? Because I want little, and it can only go under your flamingo. It can't go on the sides. There's no reflection over here on the side or there or on the bottom. It's just directly underneath her legs. Okay, so now I'm going to get my magenta. And I'm just going to put, and I try not to put them in a straight line. Watch. So, I'm perfectly straight. One there. You can have one there. And you can have one there. You can have one there. And there. There and there, but only underneath her body, under her bump, under her tummy. And then pew, 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 pew. Whoa! Pew, 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 pew. Okay, that's enough. I'm, I'm spazzing out now. They're close together, and they're just underneath her body. Like they're a finger apart. Oh, look at mine are all the same length. Okay, I don't like that. Let me make some of them longer. Okay. Okay, you guys ready to streak those a little bit? Look, look, you have to put it on the spot that's gonna be her leg. Look. It goes underneath her, behind her. Not next to her, next to her, but behind the leg. Okay? Okay, watch me. Now I'm gonna gently, as soft as I can, try to blur them. Watch, Alexander. Watch this. As soft as I can, I just want to turn those dots into little streaks. Soft, and I and I and I'm just gonna whoosh, 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 whoosh. Soft, like this soft, like baby soft. I just go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. whoosh. I just turn the oh, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Stop. Okay. I just wanted to make them a little stringier, so I used my big paintbrush and told her push to the right, push to the left. Okay, there's done. Stop. Right, I made them long and skinny with my big paintbrush, just like she was one of these streaks, right? But they're only pink, and they I can only go under her tummy, under her tummy, under her tummy, under her tummy, under her tummy. That's all, and then I'm done. But perfectly straight, right? Because it's water. Ready to her leg? Do you remember her leg? And then it's just like, look at, look at, look at, it starts off really like a huge leg right there. And it comes to a tiny point. But let's just make the uh, one leg. So it's one paintbrush thick. I'll show you. One paintbrush thick. Okay. So I, and, and, and then where do I stop? I'm, a, I'm way, a, a whole hand before I, I look, there's a, mostly water. So can I show you, can we get, so let's put a dot where we want it to be. So everybody get a, a speck of magenta on the end of their little paintbrush. Speck. Okay. And then it's about as big as my hand, but I'm not going to touch my painting. So I'm just going to put it, okay, it's, let me see. Oh, okay. I just want to put a dot, I guess about there. 
got a hand big and it's directly underneath her leg just for my brain so I put a tiny dot right it would be right there it's only as big as a hand right it's only as big as a hand this long leg okay now I can get my I stab my pink paint and you cannot scribble watch me everybody pause and look up it's only this is only enough paint to paint straight down then you have to get more paint watch so I'm just gonna make and I'm gonna try to land on that dot oh see it ran out of paint at the bottom so should I scribble and try to get more paint out no I stab my magenta to get more and pull again. Oh, second time's more slippery down. Okay. But the first time, it's almost like you're carving a space. Second time, the magenta goes on nice. So you do it one time and you're like, what? But you were like pushing the other paints out of the way. Now, who did the practice with me for the other leg, right? That was for this moment. So it's attached to her tail and it, it's, and it crosses her, the middle of her leg about two fingers down. So it goes about here. You see that? So it's two fingers, two fingers. And I go, oh, so right about there. Oh, okay. Let me draw a line first. Let me attach it to her leg. So I, and it's still one pull. So I touch her tail and pull, boop, pull, boop, pull, boop. It's only two fingers, two fingers big. And then I hit, the, I hit the other leg. And then you might have to get more paint and draw again. And then more paint and draw again. Okay, there there it is. Okay. Because magenta is very see-through and she doesn't like to be bothered. Okay, now we know that her little leg sticks out a little further and has a tiny foot. Look. She goes, oh, it sticks out farther. It just you just keep following that line. And then there's a little a little uh whoops at the bottom, right? And then here's this one. It went wee, and then it has a little whoops. That does her toe. Okay, so I'm gonna stab my magenta, and I go, should I bend? No, it's part of the same leg. Don't break her leg. I just go. I keep going. Oh, it's like a number four. Oh, a crooked T. Wee, whoop. And this leg's in front of that leg. And then when you think, yeah, that's long enough, then you give it a little curl, and that's her toe. <gasps> it, it, like, it bends down, and she goes. I wonder which angel got the job of inventing a flamingo. What a crazy animal. And they only eat pink shrimp, and then they become pink. What? What if you became the color of the food you ate? I'm yellow in the morning because I ate a banana. <laughs> what? Okay, now, oh, the top of the leg. Wait, you know where your leg is attached to your body? It's a little thicker and then it's skinnier down. Well, this is kind of like an ice cream cone, but it's just made out of feathers. So it goes in like a V. Oh, but this, this big part right here, it's actually just a puff of feathers. But I go, oh yeah, it's attached to her body like that, like a big V, a Y, and it's a Y. I was saying it wrong. Now it looks like a Y. Oh, you know what I want to do? Right where this bottom leg ends, I would like to make a, one little tiny shimmer shine right here and go huh so like it pokes the water and I just go sheep sheep look at a little tiny little disappearing moment there and then we'll let the legs rest and now let's go do her face 
okay? So her face is harder, so who feels like it's too big and too far away from you to paint? You can put one hand holds onto the painting and can pull it closer to you. Does that make sense? Because, and I hold it by my paintbrush by the metal so I could be closer. But I need to outline her head. Because if I get the shape wrong, no one will know what the heck this is. So do you remember how to outline with paint? Right? So I'm going to stab my paint, magenta, right? And I get a lot. But I don't want any of this paint to get out of her head. So I actually land on her forehead and then my paintbrush opens and then I sneak up and let, make a round top of her head. You want to see me do it? Because look, at I got paint on my head. Right? So I'm going to have to, it's like a little rainbow, but I go like this. I land in the middle of her head. Let me get my hand out of the way so you can see better. And I go smash. Okay. Then I sneak up. And I'm going to erase that ugly blue accident rainbow okay i did it i just i just smashed my paintbrush because i know she gets big when i do that but i was only staring at that one hair at the top that made the smoothness and it's with the thickness of my paint that did it look at this tiny tiny blue paintbrush that i'm using it is so tiny it's gonna make a teeny tiny texture okay now i'm gonna outline the rest of her face so now i go okay I land in her like her nosy part and i go smash and i sneak up whoa there i didn't want to do her beak beaks black so i go and then under oh there's her cheek <laughs> but i had to land in her cheek and sneak down then push because I know her whole face is going to be pink. So I'm, it's really about staring at a hair and pushing the paint that kind of squishes out. Okay, what about the neck? Maybe just some neck. Just a little, little bit of neck. I know I see the daisy went fast. Just wait for us. And then I'm going to go, okay, inside the neck. Smash. And then push out. Okay, there I'm touching the pencil and push. Okay, that's all. That's all the neck for now. And then now I can land inside the neck again, smash, and sneak up. Okay, now I'm doing it, and push. Okay. That's tricky. Tricky, tricky. And we're going to paint right over that eye. I know. Okay, now I just paint this in like this. Blah, 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 blah. And once you outline it, it's so easy to fill in with a little scribble. Blah, 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 okay. Well, is that 3D? No. And nobody loves it because it's just magenta by herself, right? So what did I add to my flamingo that made it more pretty? White. And then I go like this. Dash, dash, dash. Oop, I'm painting over it. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I wanted to demonstrate. I'm going to get white and then go like this and put little white feathers on my pink. And it will look, oh, well, look it, it's pink with black on it. I'm supposed to paint the beak black too. Or be, the beak is supposed to be pink. Okay, let me paint, paint the, the rest of the beak. I made a mistake. Okay. Okay. Whoa, that's hard. Oh, I'm trying, look it, I can't make it pointy. You want to see how my trick for making things pointy? Ever look, watch this. I turned my painting upside down so I could be closer to the face and then I can go pull and the tip of my paintbrush makes that point. Pull, pull, oh. It's a trick because when I go, when I go like this, my paintbrush opens too much. But when I pull, it's pointier. Okay, now I get to add white, and I have a dirty paintbrush, and I don't care, because it's going to make baby pink. So I'm going get to get, get some white, and it's going to like a poke. Oh! A scoop of it. A little scoop. And I'm just going to put it on, on the top of her forehead, drop it off, and then I dash it around like itty, you know, itty bitty, teeny tiny, um, those phone number dashes. You know, and how little they are. Teet, teet, like, 
ding, ding. And I'm gonna make the texture of feathers. Okay, so everybody pause and look up, watch. I'm gonna, I got my white, and I'm gonna drop it off on our forehead. Whoosh, okay. Right, remember when we made clouds? It's the same idea. I drop off a glob of white. Do I'm gonna leave it like that? No. Watch us make baby pink and white. So how many colors do we need for 3D? Three. Hot pink is my darkest. Pink and white is medium. What if I get pieces of white that live? Shimmer shine. I'm lucky. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, not her beak, her beak is black. So I'm just gonna like go, I'm gonna yank on this with little tiny dashes, the texture of feather. One, 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 and I'm pulling on it. Oh, oh, and every time I scratch it, the pink comes through. Scratch, ooh, scratch, ooh, 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 cha ooh, ooh. Oh. Deet, deet, deet. And then I start running out of white and I don't care. Oh, I give it permission to run out of white. Oh, oh, oh. Fun. And then do you have white pieces and then baby pink pieces and magenta pieces that didn't get nothing? Yes. How come? Because I don't know. And we can't do the black of her beak yet because uh, the black will remain in your paintbrush and it'll make everything look gray. Do you have good texture? Did you scribble it in? Or did you go dash, 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 texture of a feather, feather, feather? Now how about more neck? The neck and her and and the chest. So I get to the magenta stab! Why do I get so much paint? So I make a nice smooth edge. But I'm gonna land, watch me, everybody watch. So I'm gonna land in her neck smash. But then I sneak up to the edge. Whoa! Now it's touching, and now I push. That's how I get it smooth. Push. Oh, I ran out of paint, and I got dry. Let me know, like, you try again. Okay. The second pass was smoother. Smooth. Okay. But I keep my paintbrush in the neck, and then sneak out with one hair. Now what about the front? Okay. Stab my magenta, because I have far to go. I don't want to have to stop and get more paint. But I land in her neck again. Smash. And sneak up. And let one hair push the... Whoa. I ran out. Oh, I forgot. There's paint on the other side of my paintbrush. Let me just flip it over. Smoosh. Smoosh. Oh, the second pass was smoother. And I went all the way under her tummy. Look at mine. I want under her tummy. We're just going to decorate the neck, but I'm including her her chest. Right? So I just went, woo -hoo. Okay, now, once it's outlined, and her body is on top of the water. So make sure that it goes in front of the water a little bit. She's in front of the, I mean, the sky. Just because of blue does not make it water. So I'm gonna go in front of the sky there. Okay, now I can get more magenta and then just go uh, fill it in. Dash, 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 and a little bit of her chest, right? Hello, chest. See you later, Daisy. Okay, and then, and then that, look at how dark that, and, and, and scary that neck looks with no white in it. We need some decorating. So I'm just gonna get a scoop of white, scoop, right? And I'm just gonna drop it off down the middle of her neck, whoosh. Ew, I have a whole bunch of white left. I, I don't need it. I got too much. I just wanted to put it down the center and be done. Okay, I gotta, I'm gonna have to wipe this off on a napkin. That's too much white. That was a mistake. But do I get mad? No, I just get, okay, that's all. That's all the white you get, goodbye. Okay. Now, I just push that white around and I attach it to her head because it's gonna be the same color. So I just, just by scratching at the white, I don't scribble it like that. I pick it up with my paintbrush, whoosh, and drop it off, pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off and walk down, walk down. Oh, 
Oh, it helps brighten up the pink, changes her color. Very pretty. Oh, attach it to her head. Well, oh, go up into her head a little bit because it is the same color. Okay, now there isn't some weird line. Okay, good. Oh, that was fun. It made color changes. Look at the middle. It's too dark. I want to... I, sh I said I had too much paint, but I actually would like a little, this is too dark. Okay, there. <laughs> Who knows? You don't know until you start painting and you're like, oh, okay, well. Okay, there. Now it looks nicer. Now, how about, now, now, how, does that look prettier? A little bit of white, a little bit of white, and she brightens. And now, how, do we have 3D? Dark pieces, medium pieces, and white pieces? I know. Do you have a little bit of pure white on the top of her head that you didn't mix in and it looks white? It's a shimmer shine from the sun, right? And, but you still got to touch it because it has to be the texture of feathers. You can't just have a blob in the middle of your head. Okay, now we can do her back, but everybody pause and look up. Which direction do her feathers go? Straight down? Oh no. She works very hard with her beak to smooth her feathers to go back. And they all point at her tail. So I point down. I point down. I point down. I'm pointing at her tail the whole time. Look at my tail. Look at my tail. Even if I'm way up here. Look at my tail. Look at my tail. Right? It's a weird texture thing. It can't be straight up and down. No bird would let her feathers be all sharp like that. Okay. So first we paint it pink. Just paint punk. So I stab my magenta and I would like a really nice outline for smoothness. And and look at the readiness of my edge where the water, I mean the sky touched my flamingo. I'm like I could go a little higher than that and hide my pencil and hide that readiness. So I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, now the flamingo's actually in front of the sky. And I ran out. Oh, look what I did. Don't look at that. My paintbrush jumped. Okay, more magenta. And then a flat bottom. A little bottom. There. Once I have a good outline, now I'm just going to fill it in with magenta. But you know what we should do while we're getting tons of magenta, scoops of magenta, right? What if we practice while we're doing this? Everybody pause and look up trying to get our feathers to go in the right direction. So I touch her back and I point at her tail. I point at her tail. I point at her tail. I point at her. So while I'm putting pink on, I'm gonna practice so that my white looks cool. So I point at the tail, oh, I point it down. And then I point at the tail, point at the tail, point at the tail, point at the tail. Okay. It's all pointing back here. You know, look, look down here. It's pointing. So it's just a texture thing. So I'm like, while well, I'm putting pink on, because it's just pink whatever, because we decorate with white, but we could use the seconds that it takes to pink it to get an understanding of the directions that the, the white feathers are gonna end up going, right? So I'm like, I stab my magenta, get a lot. And then I'm thinking, still down, 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 down. Yeah, they point down. They're leaning a little bit. They're at like a 30 degree if you're a math person. And they point down, down. I let go. Look at this. Everybody look. Look at this little let go the last second and go. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Makes little pointy ends. That'll look good. I mean when we do the white. Not when pink. The whole thing's pink. But I'm just playing with the pinks because I'm like, you know, if I can do it in pink. I can do it in white. And they're all pointing down at the tail, 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 tail. Now I need to go hunting because look at mine. Look at all those white things. What the heck? I would like to put another layer. <laughs> I, I got, those are called holidays, but uh, goodbye all you little canvas pieces trying to peek through. Go away. Let me get more magenta. And put a smushy on it. Bye. You're not supposed to be showing canvas. You are done, canvas. Okay. Get all aggressive. Let me tell you the awkward part, right? Right here where the neck 
attaches to the body. Some people don't let the white trap attach right here. It looks funny. So, you know, after you do your beautiful feathers on her back, don't forget to do and attach this white to her tummy a little bit. I'll say it again later, but okay. Who's ready to put some? It's pink. Now it's pink. Pink. Okay. Now I get to get my, um, white. Did mine literally fall on the floor of my light? Rude. Okay. Now I'm going to get a scoop of white. How come I got so much? Because where is it the most shiny? On her back. And then every row that I scratch down a little bit, it gets lighter. Watch this. I'll show you. This is what I mean. It's just like doing cloud, but with little scratches. So everybody pause what you're doing and watch what I'm doing. So I'm going to go schmooosh. I'm not going outside the line. I'm just going near it. Okay. I dropped it off. This is just like how we did the head. But the texture is more unique. -er. And then if it's not moving, how much? look how much paint I put. Everybody pause and look. Let me hold it like this. Look at how much mine lumps. Can you see the lumps on mine? I put a lot of wet on there. Why? Because watch what I want it to do. I want it to be able to go streak. And if it's not enough paint, it will not move. But wait, feathers can only go down, right? So I'm going to go, I grab the white and I go push, fleek, fleek. And I'm getting white and pink streaks. Oh, <gasps> I'm not trying to, I'm just scratching at them and they make their own beautiful streakiness. Neat. Then, uh-oh, what do I do now? I got a row, right? And that's the texture I got. Can I do a row, a uh, yank on the bottoms of those and try to run out of white? Watch me, everybody pause and look up. I'm Because the more you touch it, how many, if you keep touching it, it'll just turn uh, magenta. Okay, watch me, everybody pause. Now I'm going to scratch at the bottom of those and try to run out of white. Then I scratch at the bottom of those and try to run out even more. And then I touch the bottom of those and it's even, even less. And then I touch the bottom of those. Okay, why is mine so white right here? It was the biggest blob ever. How could I get rid of that white? Couldn't I just scratch at it more and force pink to come through? Yeah, if I scratch at it, the white comes off. Oh. Oh yeah, and attach it to the neck. So where is the most white on her back? Where is the least amount of white? Down here on the bottom near the water because in the shadows. So I'm trying to run out of white paint. Very white, not very white. It's kind of getting blurry and invisibly. And then the next row is even more invisibly. <laughs> And then, is that a word? And then I go, and then I'm at the bottom, bottom, and I don't have any white left on my paintbrush. I'm just dropping off a little bit of fudge. A little bit of fudge is all you get. And what are we rooting for? Dark pieces. Okay, magenta didn't get no white. Perfect. Then magenta with some white. It's like pink. Right? That's nice. And then I actually let some white pieces live. Just. But look at the chest. Look at the chest again. Does that look like it goes? Shouldn't I just like walk around a little bit on the chest and try to get the colors to match the check, the chest and the neck and the neck and the chest? It's an awkward something. And once you start playing with it and you just walk around with your paint, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. It didn't really match good until I started playing with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like you have to make this part uh, the same, same. Like the neck doesn't want to attach to the body, so you scribble it a little bit. So it has texture, right? The texture is feather texture. It has color, dark, medium, light. And then the shape is a flamingo. Who's ready to do her beak? It's Blick. But there's a bunch of white on my paintbrush, and if I get black on that, that'll make gray. So I just need to get a little pinch, a little clean my paintbrush a little bit with a little bit of paper towel pinch. 
and find my black. It's only two squirts of black because literally the only black on this painting is beak and eye. But now you have black for another project. Okay, how much black do you think is on this uh, beak? A tiny, tiny bit, and then I scribbled it around. Okay, how about this one? A tiny, tiny bit of black, and then I scribbled it around. Okay. So I go, okay, where is it? Where is it at? So I'm going to get, a, how much, how much black? I just get a teeny, tiny little poke, because I just want a really nice outline. So I just go poke. And it looks like a, 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 a little hump like this. It's round at the top, like a, like, because it's like a toucan beak. Right? So I just go, oh, okay, ooh, ooh. okay, there, I almost went type the lines. And then I'm gonna be inside her beak and smash and then sneak up and just gently let the black touch the edge. How much paint was that? The smallest speck I could manage. Black is very aggressive and she will try to ruin your painting. Okay, now I got a ton of ton of speck. And I just go, shimmy, ooh, point. <sighs> and then don't get more black. That is plenty of black to do the teeny tiny scribble and push it around very gently and little. Because black is very dark. So you just kind of give it a little scribble and call it done. Beak. Cute, right? And then I clean, I clean my paintbrush, but then the eye, I'm afraid to do the eye because my paintbrush will go like this, poof, and make it look all bad. So you know what I'm going to use? I'm actually going to use my stick, the stick of my paintbrush. What? But that's like a miniature fingerprint, right? I'll make a perfect little circle. So I'm going to touch my black like this. Everybody watch. <gasps> touch. Oh. <laughs> Okay, and then where's her eye at? She's a plant eater, so her and a bird, so her eyes are actually on the side of her head. We're meat eaters, so where do meat eaters put their eyes? In the front, so we can hunt. But these need to see next to themselves, so they put their eyes right here. So it's right in the middle of the circle of her head. So here's the circle of her head, not the beak, right? So I just go, oh, you mean like poke? With my stick. But it's in the middle of the circle-y part. And now she's cute. Look at her wink at you. She loves you. Okay. Clean my stick. I don't want to get that on my hands. Okay, now, ooh, who's loving their painting so far? But look at this beautiful green, green, um, um, palm tree. But it's really not a palm tree, is it? It's, it's our brain thinks it's a palm tree. That is a shape and a texture and a color that reminds us of palm tree. Okay? So, like, what? As soon as we drew, draw the back of it, then we do make little number ones. One, 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 one. And then you'll make them all evenly spaced apart at first because you're human. But then you go back and fill them in, and then they're they're all touching. Okay, so we're and then, oh yeah, and how many colors in three D? Three. So I do it in this super dark green first, and then I put the light green on top. And when they scratch together, they make a new color. But I like dark green showing and light green. You guys ready? Okay, so where's my square paper? Where'd she go? Did she roll? There she is. Look at, she's got paint on it. I'm gonna have to lick it off. No, I'm kidding. Okay, but I can go like this, right? Get a paper towel and kind of, oh. There, it still has paint on it, but it doesn't have a big giant goober on it anymore. There. And can you find your light green? Yeah, the, li the lightest green. There's the dark green. I'm super dark. 
That's our shadow green, right? Can you find the like? Let's put some white in this and brighten her up. Okay, just help her be a little shinier. So, um, do you have any white left? I'm gonna get a scoop of it. Oh, <laughs> and put it in my green. Usually I do this for you, but I wanted it to be darker green for your water first. So now I'm just gonna go like that and see if I can't change the color of the green into something brighter and prettier. Ooh, ooh. Yep. What paint brush are we using? The square. This one? Yeah, that's her. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, I made lighter green with some white and some baby green. Oh, that's going to be because I want it to go dark green with light green on top. So I had to make that. And it's, and then I don't think I put enough white. It didn't change very much, but more. I'm not there, so I can't see it and give you advice. But if it didn't change colors, you put just a tiny bit of white. Just put more white. Okay, and then I'm gonna clean my paintbrush after a pinch. I see some people stirring, so I'm gonna give a rest. Resting. Good job. Okay, and now I can, um, but we paint the trees first all in dark green and then decorate them with light green but i didn't i i didn't i i and this little square paintbrush right so i'm going to open my super dark green and don't be afraid of how much you get if there's a blob of dark green it's nice and dark okay so i just stab my dark green i just got a huge amount but i'm going to actually hold my paintbrush like this Right, the skinny way. Everybody pause and look up. So it's the skinny way like this. I hold my paintbrush <gasps> like that, okay? Like this, like a knife. And I go, way like that. And then I hold it straight up and down, and I hold it like a knife this way. Flick, 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 flick. So I'm always using her edge. I never use her squareness. There is no square shape in this whole thing. So I can never hold it like a square. I have to hold it like a knife all the time, straight up and down. Or turn it and hold it like a little knife going that way. Does that make sense? Okay, watch. So palm tree number one. Oh, where is it? Oh, the first one, let's call this one the first one because she's in the middle. It's even with her head. There's her head, so oh. All right, but where is it pointing? I jump out and I go, way, and then I point at her back. Look at her back. And then how big is it? As big as a hand. It's big, right? So let's just make that one line like that, way, okay? And it's, it, and look at my, if I put my four fingers on it, it's jumping over my fingers. So it's like half a rainbow. It's long and it points at her back. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so I got my super dark green. Okay, and then where does it start? Here's her head. Okay, right there, even with her head. Okay, everybody watch, everybody pause and look up. So I go and I hold my paintbrush the, the, the little sharp way, so it's skinny, and I just go, wee, and I go up, but then I fall down like a roller coaster and point at her back. Oh, that looks like a V. Okay, stop, don't do that like that. What? I'm going to try to do it more. Oh, now it's thicker. <laughs> Woo! Okay, there. Ah! I totally ruined it. But don't you do it. You do it nicer. Okay, and see how much more roundy she is? Okay. And she's pointing at her back. Look at the back. Now you do it. And we big R, and then point at her back. Yep, and then put, like, well, look at mine. Mine includes a thumb. It's a hand big. I'm like, oh, a little bigger. Because this is our only bright green on the painting, so boom, let's make these. Okay, now I'm going to get some more dark green. Just stab your dark green. Stab. 
Okay, now I'm going to hold my paintbrush the long and straight up and down way like this. <laughs> and I go flick. And I make a number one. And you don't have to worry about landing on that. We're going to land on that line and go flick, right? You don't have to worry about landing because you can handwrite. So your letters are nice, so everyone knows you can land perfectly. But now I'm just gonna land and go straight down, and they're like little number ones, right? So I go one, 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 one. Now you do it. If you need more paint, you just get more paint. Flick, 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 and then point. And then, doesn't that look bad? It looks like a comb. Ugh. So now I get more green and can I just put 50 million in between each one of those so they touch? Yeah, but at least I got my size and my shape to start me like a little skeleton. Now I can go one, 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 and now your brain goes, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. The first one was just for understanding. Second one is to be like, oh, of course. And the little ratty ends are the little palm fronds. Of course. Right? Oh, and it comes like this. Everybody watch. It gets skinnier and skinnier and tinier and tinier and tinier. Just like my arm goes from really thick all the way to fingernail. So it goes big to whittle. So it's tiny and pointy on the end. Okay. Now let's make another one. Hey, palm trees are like giant flowers. They're the weirdest trees on the planet. So here's their trunk and every single, they don't even have branches. I know. They just have leaves like a flower and they jump out of the trunk. Boink, boink. So they all come out of the same spot. So look, they are touching. So that means the trunk must be right here. So I just go, oh, they're touching and they're jumping out of the same spot and they're jumping out of the same spot, right? They touch because it's a palm tree. Okay, so I go, okay, let me make another one. So I stab my dark green and I hold my paper skinny. So that was the slowest one. Watch this one go faster. Same length, but this time she's gonna jump out and point at her little, little, little bottom. She's gonna be more tired. This one's gonna go uh, like that. So I, I'm gonna touch the branch, or, oh, the leaf, and I just go, and I jump out and I go, wee, look at her tail. Oh, it's a tired one. Hey, Joe Sheepy. Good job. And then what do I do? I decorate it one, 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 one. And they all point straight down. You're going to try to curve them, but gravity says those point down. Right? And then. Of course, I go back and add some more fluff. Fluff, 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 more, 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 more for you. Excellent. See? And then aren't we painting this a, a second time with the prettier green? Yes. This is just to add the shadow and learn how to do it. Okay. Then there's one more. But look at, she's like, a, she points at the water and she's super sleepy. And she's almost pointing straight down. That's a baby. Okay, so I just go, all right. So I touch where that branch was starting and I just go, whoa, oh, a baby. But you're gonna be tempted to make them go flat and straight. No, they point straight down because of gravity too. So you just go one, 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 one. It's very hard not to make them tilt, but gravity. And then what do they need? A few little pieces of fluff, 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 fluff. Now what does mine have? One more, pointing towards the sky. And then where does she finish? Pointing at her head. So I go, oh, straight up, look at her head. Straight up, then point at her head, okay. So I just get more dark green step and I go straight up, point at her head. Yeah. And then gives up some ones. One, 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 one. Ta-da! 
So is this really a palm tree? No, but it has the shape, the color, and the texture of something that reminds us of a palm tree. We're not really make those are not real palm trees. They're an idea of a palm tree. And as soon as the idea is close, our brain goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that reminds, mm -hmm. Now what about the other side? Way up near the corner, three little ones. Oh, little, medium, pointing down, tired. Oh yeah, that's not, I already know I know how because I did this one, so let me add some more. All right. Hold on, my apron came undone. I'm wiggling around too much. Okay, where's my, oh, there she is. Okay, so I stabbed my dark green, okay. So this one is two fingers from the top and she's just pointing at her head and they just jump out and go, hello, look at her head. And they're littler, littler than the other side. And I just go, oh, look at her head. Oh, I already know how to do this because I have proof. So I hold it a skinny way and it's like two fingers from the top because I don't want to touch the top. That'd be weird. So I just go and look at her head. And then... Oh, one, 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 one,
without thinking about it. You can land wherever you tell you, because you have been training your brain for this your whole life. Okay, now decorate the little baby one. Bebe. One, 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 one. I got some dark pieces peeking through. Shadow. Makes you jealous of mine. Okay, now I can do the uh, one on the other side. Decorate. And I just go, wee. One, 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 one. And then, right, and I just, now do you, you don't need my help. I'll just be quiet. You already know how. And then is it perfect? No. Is it a version of a palm tree? Sure. Is it a version of a flamingo? Yep. Does it remind you of water? Sure. That's all we're trying to do. If we're, if we're trying to do photorealistic, you know, with those paintings that look like photographs, why? We all have phones that have HD cameras on them. Why would we need to capture real life? No, we're doing it for enjoyment and texture and color and and interest right not for perfection so it's like ish like yeah it reminds me of stuff nailed it love it good job you guys did a good job